Wake up, St. Louis show. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining me. I am Chayla Mendez. You're watching this morning right here on DBS. We have Crystal Showers here with us. She is a physiotherapist. Of course, if you are a loyal family member, you'd already know that. But today, we're going to be talking all about office ergonomics. So, Crystal, thank you again for being here with us. It's always so enlightening when we're around you. Oh, great. Thank <laughs> you very much. So, today we're going to be talking about office ergonomics, which means the proper setup um, for you to have your desk and your chair at work. Now, there are a few conditions that are common ailments um, when you are working at a desk uh, day in and day out. Um, some of those issues might be carpal tunnel, tennis elbow, low back, neck pain, headaches. Um, th those are very common amongst people who, who have an office or, or what we call a sedentary type of, of job. Now, there are um, things that we can do to adjust our equipment, our, our chair, our desk, our computer, to make things more efficient and easier on our bodies. And there are also a few stretches that we can be doing on a regular basis to help prevent some of these injuries from happening. When we are looking to a, adjust our workstations, we often need to adjust the chair to meet the desk height first. Desks cannot be adjusted, so we need to adjust the chair to meet the height of the desk, okay? So if we're looking to do that, we often need to bring the chair up, okay? So that our shoulders are relaxed, our elbows are in at our sides at 90 degrees, and we can pull up to a desk so that the keyboard and the mouse are right here, okay? Um, we do not want to be reaching for anything, okay? We do not want it to be where we are too low at the desk and we're having to reach up, all right? Now, if bringing the chair up means that my feet are now barely touching the floor, what we need to get to is a small step stool such that our hips and our knees can be at 90 degrees, all right? So we need to be able to adjust the chair to meet the hip and the knee at 90 degrees. So again, if we have brought the chair height up in order to meet the desk height, we need to get a little step stool to keep our hips and knees in a good position, okay? When we are considering everything on our desktop, we want things that we use frequently to be within arm's reach. We do not want to have to be reaching out for something. So our keyboard again should be in right close with our elbows tucked in, our mouse right next to that. Our computer screen should be at a height where when we have our chin tucked, our eyes are looking straight ahead and the the computer screen is at the end of my fingertips, okay? I don't want the computer screen up here or down here, and you don't want it so far away that um, it's outside of your arm's reach. It can create eye strain and glare from the lights overhead. Uh, now, another thing that we want to remember is that even though we might have our workstation set up properly, we do not want to be sitting for more than 30 minutes at a time. Our bodies are not made to sit, and after 30 minutes, injuries can start to happen. So what you can do uh, is stand every 30 minutes. You want to stand. You can put the hands on the small of the back, bend backwards a few times, just to counter the position of sitting. You can answer the phone, in standing, you can just shift your weight a few times, you can do a few of the stretches that I will be going through in a moment, you can walk to get a glass of water, there's many things that you can do in just a few seconds that will help prevent injuries when you have a sitting job. Crystal, once again, thank you so much. And St. Lucia, there was your crash course in office ergonomics, so hopefully any employers watching take note and of course everybody else you know we have to look after ourselves as well so take note of that and of course we're gonna keep bringing you some more interesting information and as long as crystal will allow us then we will be here and of course sharing an information with us so thank you again you're most welcome all right saint lucia make sure you keep watching
Wake up, everybody. Good morning, St. Lucia. Of course, I'm your girl, Chayla Mendez. You're watching this morning, and we are here with, again, Mindy, and she is the junior brand manager for Global Brands here at WLBL. So, Mindy, good morning to you. Good morning, Chayla. Good morning, St. Lucia. I hope you guys are doing great. And I'm pretty sure they are feeling great. How did you guys enjoy the semis, you know? Because everybody's been raving, but of course we have Mindy here. How was the semifinals? I honestly cannot put it into words, but if I could think of one word right now to describe it, it was absolutely phenomenal. Everything literally just lit up. The weekend was literally amplified, as we like to say. <laughs> and everybody who came out had a really good time. From the decor setup to the DJs and the music and the vibes that the crowd from Viewfort brought, it was truly phenomenal. Well, special good morning to our Viewfort people too. And of course, everybody who came out to Green Synergy on Sunday and I'm very excited because we have the announcement with the finalists. Oh, da, 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 da. <laughs> okay, so it was a really hard decision for the judges. Again, like I said, the DJs really came out and put on an excellent show. But of course, we do have the the persons who have made it to the finals and in the skill segment, we have Curbs Ecstatic, DJ Q, DJ Shaba, Fusionist Atta, X Factor, DJ Swalai, DJ Fearless, Playing HD, DJ Mikey, and they all come up against our 2016 champion T Book. But we're not done yet. We actually have a wild card that we threw in this year, oh. and of course, it's going to be DJ C4. <gasps> so that's in the skills segment. And in the class segment, <laughs> oh my gosh. I never knew people could give responses with songs in that manner. <laughs> I, honestly, I, the Clash segment was just... If you weren't there, you missed out on it. That's you all I can definitely say. definitely missed out. But of course, if you want to find out who made it to the finals, we have that list right here for you. And we shall not delay any further. So making it to the finals, we have Hot Skull Entertainment, DJ Rufus, Twins of Twins, DJ Ratty, Jali Josie, veteran in the game, DJ Shaba, Curbs Ecstatic, and they all go up against last year's double champs, DJ Deal and Lil Ute. But of course, like we like to keep things innovative and fresh, we have a wild card. And this year, that is no other than Star Run It Red. So St. Lucia, there you have it. So we have our finalists, um, both for skills and the clash. And Mindy, give them the reminder because, of course, if you miss semis, don't worry. You can make up for that and be part of the grand finale. So Green Synergy Finals heads home this year. We are back to Fordow this year. But don't think that it's the typical Fordow. Just come on down on September 24th and see how we are going to transform Fordow Heritage Park into our green synergy stage, our amplify the beat and to literally give you a concert style feel. So I've let a cat out of the bag just a little bit, but then if you really want to see the full details, head on down. We start from 3 p.m. And of course, we invite Everybody in St. Lucia, all our DJs, music fanatics, Heineken lovers, beer drinkers, and anybody who just really wants to have a good time, September 24th, Fordow Heritage Park. That's the place to be for Green Synergy Finals 2017, and we're going to amplify the beats. <laughs> You never get a slam yet, be a nightcare. All the day and the middle of the year, you have me there. You never get a slam. <laughs> <laughs> Get the floor, knock on your entrance, ram pa pa pam pam. Can't let me in, me have the thing where you're away. Walk like a champion, talk like a champion. Mikey, what a piece of money, girl. Let me tell them why we have to walk like champions. Mikey, tell them why. Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up. Every friend I got. 
I'm a 